Welcome to the first lecture in the Innovation Lecture Series. In this lecture, we will define innovation and look at innovation by analogies as an example of how to innovate. Innovation is an increasingly important capability in the search for sustained competitive advantage. What do you think are synonyms used in practice for innovation management? Please pause the video lecture to answer. The correct answer is that all of these terms are used interchangeably to depict innovation management. Who do you think is depicted on this picture? Please pause the video lecture to answer. The correct answer is Thomas Edison. How many patents do you think Thomas Edison registered? Please pause the video lecture to answer. The correct answer is over 1000. That is a mind-blowing number. If you would assume there are 240 workdays in a year and that a typical career might be 30 years long, that would mean that Thomas Edison registered a new patent every eight days. What do you think this is? Please pause the video lecture to answer. This drawing illustrates a light bulb. Now, what do you need for a light bulb to work? Electricity. When Edison came up with the idea for a light bulb, there was no electricity available to households. So he decided to build an entire electricity generation and distribution infrastructure himself. During the 1880s, he patented a system for electricity distribution. In 1882, the power of the first electric generation plant was switched on. In the following years, 300 plants were built all over the world. Where do you think Edison built the first electric generation plant? And how many bulbs could it light up? Please pause the video lecture to answer. The Edison Illuminating Company established the first investor-owned electric utility in 1882 on Pearl Street Station, New York City. It was on September 4th, 1882 that Edison switched on his Pearl Street Generating Station's electrical power distribution system which provided 110 volts direct current to 59 customers in Lower Manhattan. It allowed them to light up 800 light bulbs. Edison was involved in the invention of the 35 millimeter cinema film. This is a picture of Edison and Eastman from Kodak Eastman. What do you think this is? Please pause the video lecture to answer. Edison was also involved in the development and promotion of the electric chair. During his lifetime, Edison was involved in more than 150 businesses, either as inventor, investor, licensee, licensor, senior manager, or board member. The tremendous success of Edison is attributable both to his skill in designing new technologies, but also his willingness to experiment with different business models for creating super value. His business empire was worth $21.6 billion in 1920. After talking about this incredible innovator, let's talk a bit more about innovation and what it is. Please write down your own definition of innovation. Please pause the video lecture to answer. If you had to pick from these three descriptions, which would you say is innovation? Please pause the video lecture to answer. Write down your answer choice. We will revisit this later. This is the Sinclair Research C5 a battery electric vehicle invented by Sir Clive Sinclair. It was launched in the UK in 1985. The vehicle is a battery-assisted tricycle steered by a handlebar beneath the driver's knees. Its top speed is 15 miles per hour, which is the fastest allowed in the UK without a driving license. It became an object of media and popular ridicule during the 1980s in Britain and was a commercial disaster, selling only around 12,000 units. Would you say this is an innovation? Please pause the lecture video to think about this. The fact that it made it into the marketplace, even if not successful, makes it an innovation. It is important for us to be able to distinguish between these related but distinct concepts. An invention is the development of a new idea or an act of creation. An innovation is the commercialization of an invention. 
and diffusion indicates the stage where an innovation becomes widely used. Sometimes it takes a long time to go from invention to innovation. Here you can see an overview of well-known products with the year of invention and the year during which they were commercialized. As you can see, the ballpoint, for example, was commercialized 58 years after it was invented. While there are many ways companies can engage in innovation, I would like to focus next on a particular methodology that is called innovation through analogies. What do you think innovation through analogies might be? Please pause the video lecture to answer. The correct answer is B, where you come up with innovative ideas because you are inspired by existing solutions. Let's look at an example next. Imagine that you work for Nike or any other large apparel company, and you have been asked to come up with an optimal cushioning effect for sports shoes. Can you think of any existing products that might inspire a solution in you? Please pause the video lecture to answer. A good place to look would be at other products that need to absorb a lot of shocks, just like knees need to absorb shocks while running, for example. An example of a product just like that is racing cars. Racing cars have a specially designed shock absorber to absorb jolts and vibrations. One could use the idea of the shock absorber for racing cars and transfer the structure and material attributes to another product that also needs to absorb jolts and vibrations, such as running shoes. The result of this innovation by analogy project was Nike shocks. Similar to trying to find analogies in existing products, one could look at nature. If you think about it, nature represents 3.8 billion years of R&D. There are 10 to 30 million species with very well adopted solutions to the problems they face. Imagine you have been tasked with developing a significantly faster bathing suit. Where in nature do you think you could find potential solutions to solving this problem? Please pause the video lecture to write down a list of natural solutions that might inspire you. Upon doing research, an innovation team at Speedo learned that the rough skin of the shark was especially enabling for fast swimming. Contrary to our beliefs that a very smooth bathing suit could lead to faster swimming, it turned out a rougher surface mimicking the shark's skin was the answer to this problem. The result was the Speedo Fast Skin Bathing Suit. 98% of all medals won at the 2008 Beijing Olympics were won by swimmers wearing this swimsuit. People wearing this swimsuit broke 23 out of 25 world records. Because of the advantage that this swimsuit can give, it is now banned from the Olympics. Next, please look at a TED talk by Janine Benius about biomimicry. You can find this TED talk in my innovation playlist on YouTube. You can watch the entire video if you want to, but you do not have to. At a minimum, please look at the video timeline from 4 minutes and 50 seconds to 8 minutes. This concludes the introductory lecture on innovation.